and hello everyone welcome back to a new video all right so let's see today i'm going to show you guys how to create a log file now if you don't know what the log file is it is something like this you will have maybe the username then the date and time they came in like the time they logged on and maybe even when they left or what they change especially what they change that is usually in a log file and you say what they have changed and stuff like that but we were, what we're going to do is we're going to do this each time someone logs in it's going to write who logged in and at what time and date into this specific file right here now this is all the files it's just this and then inside of the win32 file instead of the debug file there's your log.txt if you want it to be elsewhere uh, then you can either write the path we're using this you can just go like i believe you can copy address as text let's see if it if it looks good um paste it there yeah so you can copy the, it as text i wouldn't recommend this i would really not recommend this because this can cause a lot of problems because this changes and sometimes these files changes you don't want to you don't want that so yeah i'd recommend you just do the usual dot dot slash like i showed you in my previous videos or just keep it inside of the file in the same debug folder as this one it's just easier anyways okay so let's go through about what's going to happen. We're going to put in the username, password. We're not really going to care about the password. We don't care what the password is. And remember, if you don't have that Windows 32 folder and you're running Delphi 10.3, then I, you should run it first because once you run it, it creates all the folders. And that's after you've saved it, okay? Save it, then run, and then you will have your debug folder and everything. Okay. So we're going to make it work completely. Let's do quit. I don't know why I didn't just use a bit button. So we're just going to go FRM. I mean, form two. This is form two. If we go here and we click here, we can see this is form two in the caption and in the name. It should also probably say form two. Yeah. Um, I recommend you change that. But for the sake of this video, I'm going to dot close. This will close it. It's that's basically what the close bit button does. It's just that little bit of code. If you run it, you click it, it's closed. I believe it's not running anymore. All right. And let's see. Now that we have that, we want to do the logon. Okay. So let's see. First thing we gotta do is we gotta we want the the username, the date, and the time. And then we need a T file or a T log or anything you want, but that should have a T for just so you know it's a text file. I like to go T file with my files. Text file. Okay, so this is the basic variables we'll need. So then we can go S name becomes edt name.txt we're going to actually create a login file they don't need any passwords or anything like that we're just going to capture what's in it and we're going to put it into a file is date we can make that become uh i think it should be date to string and then date if i'm correct the, the book says that You'll basically never use to have this in an exam, but you should know it just for in case you do. But I never got it, so I don't really, you know, time to string and then just time. Uh, of course, there can be parameters in there, like saying what format should be year, 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 um, day, day, day and stuff like that whatever your format is you can change that but for now we're just going to use the pc format this is going to take this format of the pc and throw it in there and in true working environment you should put the format in there um, because pc formats here might change depending on the on the desktop and the 
user preference so you should make sure that that is all in one type so you should clarify but we are not going to clarify because this is not what we're focusing on we'll focus on that on a later date now what we want to do is we want to go assign file and then t file to log.txt here is log.txt that should be a g so here's the log.txt let's go control d control s then rewrite and then just t file i'll explain all of this right now and then we want to create a new string now to think about it so then we go s log now s log that will become s name plus well, we're getting or, or delimiter will be a space plus s date plus mm, but that's going to be a little bit of effort so a little bit too much effort so we're going to use a hashtag as our delimiter not that we're going to use it right now but you know it's just good practice to have a good delimiter all right so this is going to be the log and then we're going to go right line and then we're going to say t file we should write into t file s log so what they're saying wait 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 and then we close file t file t file Okay, so what we are saying is put all of these in the variables, we all know what these do. Uh, except for these, as you guess, the date and time, that's pretty obvious. Okay, oh, that's a state again. It's time. There we go. Okay, then here in assign file, this assigns, we already know that, assigns t file to this file. And then rewrite. What this does is it erases everything from the file and that just erases everything from a file. It also assigns the file um, or opens the file because it's not assigned. It kind of opens it as well in some way. If we're going to remove it, you might get an error. And then you have write line t file is log. This is writes to t file what is if whatever is in is log. Then close file that just closed the file. Okay, pretty easy. So let's test it out. Right now, in this file, there is nothing. Okay, we'll put the username in. Uh, that is man in uh, Japanese, if I'm not mistaken. The uh, password can be anything that we don't, that doesn't matter. Log on. Okay, we clicked on that. Go back into the log file. There's our username, the date just as it is here in the format and then the time now if we click on it again so let's click on it a few times okay and then if we open this up again now in a log file if the true log file it should add more um, the newest one should either be at the top or at the bottom that is usually up to the programmer but uh, usually the newest one is at the top now, this doesn't do that. Let's say it only writes one. It erases everything and it rewrites that. We do not want that. This is why I decided to stray from the book because in a real environment, this would be completely incorrect. But if you're try just trying to remove everything and write something new to the file, this is a good way to do it. It's easy. It just clears the file and you can put everything on it. But what we should do is we should go append and then t file we already know um, let's reset that puts the cursor at the top of the file and then it reads you know but reset in here won't work right now i don't think we have a prepaint but let me explain anyways so if you learn any other language i think java also has it but i usually with javascript Things like prepend and um, append, 
this puts the cursor at the top of your file. So prepaint would do that. It would put per cursor there. When you open up Notepad, it prepaints the file or whatever it takes you want to put to the file. And upend, instead of putting it at the top, it puts it at the bottom. It, but prepaint will do this. That's prepaint. Upend will do that. It will put the cursor below all the other things. So yeah, just to explain. NNT file. Now, theoretically, this should work. They should write the everything new underneath each other. So let's go username is nani, that's what in Japanese. Free Japanese lessons. Anyways, in care, and then we are going to spam this button. Okay, we spammed the button. Now let's open it up again. As you can see, now it writes all the time to the new file. So it starts at the first one, it ends at the last one in the file. Now basically, this is how a log file should look. As you can see, this guy, he was logged on, and then this guy logged on quite a few times. This is how a log file should look. You shouldn't reset anything because a log file is to keep logs. Dalphi also has a log. History. This history is a log. It's basically telling you what you did. So yeah, this is how to write to a file and create a log. I don't know if there's a way to append if any of you know. Oh wait, no, I just spelled it wrong. Oh wait, sorry, never mind. I mean, I don't know if there's a way to prepend text because reset does give an IO error, which means you can't use reset in this type of environment, which is unfortunate. We can really try it. So what we're going to do is we're going to put the cursor at the bottom, then put it at the top. Because just using reset will give you an IO error. So we can try and use them together, but I highly doubt that reset, yeah, as you can see. Thank you all for watching. See you all in the next video.